Data and analytics from the Exact Target Marketing Cloud lets you create a unique user experience for every single customer. Whether they're interacting on the web, in email, through your mobile app, or call center, you can observe and capture customer behavior across channels and ask the right questions to build a preference profile for every customer. You can visualize the data and make it actionable. Trigger customer journeys based on behavior and segment that data to create targeted subscriber lists. Now, predicting the best offer, product, or content for each individual customer is done automatically and in real time. Deliver the most relevant customer experience with data and analytics from the Exact Target Marketing Cloud. Please welcome to the stage Exact Target Marketing Cloud Vice President of Predictive and Data Analytics, Eric Tobias. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Day two, product keynote day, last product keynote of the day. Thank you for joining. Super excited to tell you all the amazing innovations we have going on in the marketing cloud across data, predictive, and analytics. But first, I want to start by saying thank you. As I look out across the crowd, we have a number of customers, a number of longtime colleagues, and many of you now friends. Thank you for your business and your support. It's been an amazing year here at the Marketing Cloud. As we think about all the work that we've done in data and analytics, we've brought in 17 petabytes of data. It's an amazing amount. $2.5 billion in incremental revenue has been driven through our platform this year. And we make over 250,000 decisions per minute on behalf of you, our customers. That is data science at unrivaled scale. And we've had the fortune to work with a number of exciting and leading innovative companies this year. Just a handful of them, including RBC, Starbucks, and Fanatics. But as I think about how we think about the future here at Exact Target, I think about the problem that we're really all trying to solve. We've heard a lot this week about the one-to-one -one customer journey. And the one-to-one -one customer journey is really about creating relevance for our customers. We all have this challenge where we live in a world where at any given moment we're on multiple devices. You may be like me, I go home at night from my long day at work and I sit in front of the TV and I've got an iPad and I'm rocking out some stuff and I've got my laptop and at any given moment I may see an ad on TV that sparks my interest. I'll pull that website up and check it out. I'm on multiple different devices all at the same time. Now this is an amazing consumer experience. It's incredible. We live in an amazing time where information is at our fingertips. But for a marketer, that's super hard. Because now we need to not only know our customer on a given channel, we need to know them everywhere. And many times, everywhere is all at once. And so we have a relevance problem as marketers. And this creates both a challenge and an opportunity. As I think about the most important thing that we can do as marketers, it's begin to listen to our customers. It's begin to understand who they are as individuals and react to them in real time. Ironically, this is kind of the same way that it works in the human world, right? When you form a relationship with a, another human, you listen to who they are, their wants, their needs, their aspirations, and you respond. That's how we create human relationships. And in the digital world, for us marketers, it's really the same thing. We need to listen to our customers and be able to respond when they need us most. We've had some amazing customer stories to tell. We're going to invite Dasha from Diesel up to the stage here in a moment to talk about her journey with the Exact Target Marketing Cloud. But I want to highlight three customers in particular who are using our products that are doing really interesting things. The first is Fanatics. If you've bought a t-shirt or a hat or a jersey that's related to collegiate or professional sports, good chance you've purchased it through Fanatics. And one of the things that Fanatics saw was that they had a large number of customers coming to their website, shopping for products, adding things to their shopping cart, and for whatever reason, not completing that transaction. Fanatics wanted to be able to reach those customers because they knew that addition to the shopping cart was a good signal of intent. So how could they reach back out to them? So they used the exact target marketing cloud to trigger real-time abandoned cart messages. 
and are delivering millions of dollars in incremental revenue on a monthly basis by being able to touch their customers in real time. Sears Canada is another amazing customer story. They have a huge in-store business in Canada and really wanted to invigorate their digital presence. They wanted to create a personalized experience for every customer that came to their website or touched one of their emails. And so they're using the exact target marketing cloud to have the right content in front of the right customer and to be able to do that automatically at scale. And finally, Royal Bank of Canada, one of Canada's leading financial institutions. They wanted to leverage all of their customers' rich online behavior to create a robust digital experience. The example I love from Royal Bank of Canada, if you're like me, every two weeks is payday, and you want to make sure that that important deposit got into your account. So you go online and you log into your bank account to see if it's there. What a great opportunity for Royal Bank of Canada to connect with their customers with relevant messaging about other financial products. So the exact target marketing cloud is changing the content that every customer sees when they log in to the Royal Bank of Canada. That's really powerful. And to do that across millions of customers, that's automation. You know, as I think about this relevance problem, there's, there's two ways that we really go about solving this here at Exact Target. The first is through real-time data collection. In order to get to know our customers, we need to be able to listen. We need to be able to understand what they're doing and what those behaviors mean. So we've made massive investments in our product to be able to collect data from multiple different sources across all digital channels and process that in real time. And as that data is coming in, we then need tools to make sense of it. So we've made an equally large investment in our data science capabilities to be able to use sophisticated algorithms to determine what's the right message, the right action, the right offer, the right piece of content to show every customer. And as we push these decisions through, it's really about creating a personalized journey for every customer across every channel. Whether that customer is on a mobile phone, a tablet, a desktop, whether they're standing in a store, they may even be in their car. But it's about delivering the right content when that customer expects it, and maybe more importantly, needs it. Now, as we think about real-time data collection and visualization, raise your hand. How many of you are using behavioral data to change your marketing content in real time today? So we've got a handful, which is awesome. Congratulations, because it's not easy to do. Real-time behavior is the best indicator of a customer's intent. I like to say the last click is the most important because it's a best understanding of the next click. And so being able to bring this data in and use it to change our marketing is really important. It has a profound business impact. We were super excited to announce yesterday a brand new product to help marketers with this very problem. And this is the evolution of the next generation of web and mobile analytics. As I think about the web and mobile analytics space, many of you probably have some form of analytics running on your website or your mobile apps today. And those solutions have really progressed from you know, how many page hits did I have to what were my conversions to how long did people spend on my content. But the truth is, going forward, it's way more than counts. It's about customers. Because to put the customer at the center of everything that we do as marketers, we have to think about our analytics as people. Who are those people that are interacting with our content? And how do we engage them? And so our announcement yesterday of a brand new web and mobile analytics solution is all about that. It's about collecting visitor events across all your digital channels. Tag your website with our JavaScript tag. Embed your mobile app with our SDK and begin to feed that rich behavioral data into the exact target marketing cloud. Then visualize it with some amazing capabilities to help you understand that behavior and gain insights. And then most importantly, take action because it's all about the customers behind those counts. So let's take a look at how that works. We've got some amazing visualizations which I'll show in a demo here in a moment. But everything from geolocation, where our customers are coming from, where across the world, to what are they doing when they get there? What is the path they're taking through our site? What pieces of content are most popular? How long are they spending there? What are they searching for? All of these rich insights are now available. 
And, and the one I like to talk about is the identified versus anonymous. Because we're all struggling with this as marketers. Lots of our, our prospects are unidentified. And we're moving them from unidentified to known and known to loyal. And being able to measure that on the fly in real time is really important. And everything for us is about a play button. So with a single click, you can take action on all these analytics. You can create a journey and journey builder. You can create an email. You can create a segment, all available with a single click. Everything is about action. And it's about taking it to the next level. Now you may have heard, this is actually available today. So all of you customers in the crowd, when you get back to the office on Monday, check this out under data and analytics. We now have web, mobile analytics. Go install the tag on your website. Begin feeding that data into the marketing cloud and changing your campaigns based on real-time, actionable data. That's awesome. All right, and once we have that behavioral data coming in, then it's about taking it even further. And it's about automating all of your decisions to achieve maximum relevance. And the way that we do this is as we collect this behavioral data from your website, your mobile app, we are creating a unique individual profile for every single one of those customers. And that profile contains rich behavioral data, affinity data, preference data about what those individuals are most interested in. And how does this look then when it manifests itself? It creates a profile so that we know this is Brian and Brian is most interested in this jacket or this hat. And we can then make that data exposed and actionable for all of your marketing campaigns. But if you want to automate that, that's when we talk about predictive intelligence. Predictive intelligence is where we take all of this rich profile data that we're collecting through our web and mobile analytics and we combine it with a set of sophisticated algorithms that help make decisions on the fly. You know, we used to see customers as this, segments. I have a male, the male's 18 to 35, last purchased from me six months ago. But as we're able to stream this affinity data into the marketing cloud and we're able to understand our customers in a much more granular level, now we're able to see customers like this. This is Brian. We know who Brian is. He's not just a male. He's not just 18 to 35. We know what kind of products he likes. We know what content engages him the most. We know which channels he prefers to buy in. And this really allows us to go a step further with all of our customers. It allows us to develop that one-to-one -one relationship that we all seek. And so as we think about building these profiles and combining these profiles with our set of sophisticated algorithms, that's where our predictive intelligence engine comes in. And predictive intelligence then allows us to take every one of our messaging channels, email, mobile, social, the web, and automatically change that customer experience based on everything that we know about that individual. And as I mentioned earlier, we're doing this at unrivaled scale. In fact, in just the last minute that I've been speaking, we made 250,000 automated decisions on behalf of our customers. 250,000 decisions that our engine made. And what this allows you as the marketer to do is focus on the creative side, the, the, the pieces of the business that drive the value. And we drive through the data. And this manifests itself through all these experiences. This happens to be the exact target website on the screen, but you see here across website, across mobile push, across advertisements, all of these experiences are changed automatically based on what we know about each individual customer. So if we see a customer coming to the exact target website looking for information about our mobile products, the system will automatically begin to show content about mobile. That's pretty cool. All right, this is all amazing capability, but let's hear about how this is being put to use with one of our customers. And that customer is Diesel Brands. And Diesel is a $1.5 billion brand in the, in the apparel, the luxury apparel space. And I'd love to welcome Dasha Gastal to the stage. Please welcome Dasha. Thank you. How's it going? Going well. How welcome back to Connections. Thank you. So, Tell us a little bit about Diesel, your marketing department, maybe some of the challenges you face. Level set for us a little bit. 
Sure. So despite being a $1.5 billion brand, uh, within the United States, our e-commerce team is actually very small. We're a team of three, including myself. So as you can imagine, our time, our resources are limited. Um, and our second biggest challenge has been uh, around data, or I should say was around data prior to predictive intelligence. One was that the data that we had was very limited. Um, it also was very siloed. It was in multiple places and difficult to organize. Uh, and last and probably most important, it was very retroactive. So we had a lot of information about past purchase behavior, but there was no uh, pieces of information that would really allow us to measure user intent and how they're going to act moving forward. Interesting. Yeah. And, and, and it makes sense. We hear that oftentimes from our customers. So, so tell us about kind of how you went about that challenge and kind of your experience uh, with the marketing cloud. Sure. So um, predictive intelligence enabled us to do a couple of things that were sort of game changing for us. One is really collect that granular level of data that we never had accessible to us before. Um, so, you know, be able to see beyond your a male in your 30s and really see how you interact with our website, with our products, and how that influences your purchasing behavior. So just having that insight alone was incredibly powerful. But as I mentioned, we're a team of three. So to manually look at all that data, uh, you know, three of us could spend 100% of our time and we still would get nowhere. So the fact that the process is automated for us is, uh, has been great. Um, so when we first rolled out a predictive intelligence, we rolled it out on the web, and we enabled uh, re product recommendations based on the product that you were looking at. And so it, it's been incredibly seamless because essentially predictive intelligence has done the job of personal merchandising on our behalf. Um, and as you can imagine, for our e-commerce merchandiser, who is a team of one, um, that's been incredibly helpful. That's awesome. That's amazing. And so you started um, with the web, and, and you've evolved mm -hmm. that now to, to email. Yes, um, and making, making that connection was another big goal for us. Um, and to have personal recommendations embedded within our marketing email has been great, because it's really, it's really resonating with our customer, the fact that their behavior online is then reflected in the messaging that we're sending to them. That's great. That's great to hear. Um, we just made this huge announcement around web and mobile analytics, and Diesel was one of uh, yep. the customers that participated in our beta program over the last several months. Tell us about your experience with the beta and, and what you've learned. Yeah, um, it was really fun being part of the beta test. I love stuff like that. Um, for us, two main takeaways, really. The first one is really being able to see that data in real time. And you know, I feel like a broken record because I've spoken about this in two previous sessions, but this is really huge for us, um, not using that retro re retroactive data. So for example, in some cases it makes sense. So you know, we have customers that buy the same pair of jeans over and over. So if I send you a marketing email that talks about that same pair of jeans, okay, that's fine. But say you just bought a leather jacket. If you buy a diesel leather jacket, I guarantee it will last you for the rest of your life. You're not buying it again. So you probably don't need to hear, you, need, you don't need to receive an email that talks about leather. But you may be interested in a t-shirt that goes with that leather jacket. So for us to be able to see that you're looking on our site at t-shirts um, and to be able to send you an email that reflects that interest almost instantaneously is just incredible. And that's the other part of it, is the actionability component of uh, this product is, like I said, instantaneous. I can literally, with a click of a mouse, create a data extension, uh, put together an email that speaks to the specifics of whatever your interest is, and send it that same day. Um, and I guess l the last thing I'll say is it allows us to be incredibly targeted. So we can see, for example, somebody who is interested in t-shirts, and it's broken down by country, and it's broken down by state. Well, on our site, you, if you shop on our site, we only ship within the United States. So I can exclude all the customers that are in other countries, because why would I send them an email, even though they're interested in t-shirts? That's not really relevant to them. Yeah, that's phenomenal. That's awesome. Dasha, thank you for being at Connections. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. How about that? That's amazing. Incredible insight from, from Diesel in terms of how they're leveraging these capabilities. I was super excited when Dasha agreed to join us. Uh, for those that know me, I'm a jeans and t-shirt guy every day. I'm a big fan of the Diesel brand, and it's super awesome to tie it all together. So thank you, Dasha.
Let's take a look at, at, at some of these capabilities in action, and specifically through the lens of what we're executing at Diesel. Love to introduce Director of Product Management, Matt Kaufman, who's going to help us run our demo. And we're going to start the demo by uh, beginning at the homepage of the Diesel website. And at this point, let's, let's say that I am a uh, new shopper to the Diesel website. I'm an anonymous shopper coming in perhaps from a Google search or some other mechanism. And uh, as you can see, big, big uh, t-shirt and jeans fan. Let's, let's take a look at some t-shirts, Matt. So we're going to go into the men's section and look at some tees and tops. And as this content loads up from the Diesel website, I really like this t-shirt here on the left-hand side. It's pretty cool looking. Let's check that out. And look at that. That's awesome. That's something I would want to buy. But I can't really shop right now. I'm doing a demo. So I don't have time. But you know what? There's good news. The Exact Target web and mobile analytics product has been there observing my behavior the whole time. And let's scroll through some of these amazing tiles. We see geographic location. We see site search. We see things like page popularity, visitors, identified versus anonymous. All of this information right here at my fingertips. Easy to visualize it, easy to access it. But the one I really love the most is this visitor path. Because as a marketer, this helps me visualize how my customers are interacting with my website content and my mobile app content. Let's go in and look specifically at that same path that I just took. So starting on the home page of the Diesel website, going into a category, and then looking at Diesel tees and tops. This gives me the breakdown of how many people have taken that same visitor path. It shows me geographically where they're coming from. And as I drill into the geographies, it lets me see even more granular information. I talked earlier about this is not about counts, it's about customers. And right here you can see specific customers listed which is so powerful. But if I want to filter this even further and take a look at those people who have dropped off the process, well, look who's listed here first. Happens to be me, etobias at exacttarget.com. That's pretty cool. I can bring up my customer profile, all of the rich information that we're capturing based on my behavior, the affinities that matter most to me, even the product recommendations that I should see next through our predictive intelligence platform. All of this at a very granular level, that allows it to be super actionable. Let's take a look at that actionability. We have this orange play button right here in the product. By clicking on the orange play button, I can create a journey, I can create an email, I can create a mobile message, or even an audience. Right there with a single click, everything is actionable. Let's go ahead and create a journey. Everybody's seen the Journey Builder product, it's amazing. Now we're in Journey Builder, and what initiates the journey, the trigger event, is my visit to the Diesel website. Our web and mobile analytics product is watching that behavior, and as that behavior occurs, it's initiating a journey. Now, I've got a very simple journey set up. It's the fact that if somebody comes to the website, looks at some content, and then abandons without reaching the goal, we're going to send them an email. So that's what's here in Journey Builder. Let's take a look at that email. And as we click into that, now we're in uh, the Gmail inbox. This is what my inbox looks like in Gmail. And here is uh, that rich email coming in from Diesel. Now you'll notice that this email is highly personalized. It's got content about tees and tops. Look at that, I was just looking at t-shirts on the website. And more importantly, it's got products that are now related and predicted based on my individual profile. So all that rich behavior we're capturing about what I'm doing online is now driving the content that I see. And from Diesel's perspective, you heard Dasha talk about having a small team. What this allows Dasha and her team to do is create one email template. One template. And as that email goes out to hundreds of thousands of customers, every single version of this email is unique. Because as every customer is opening this email, we are rendering that predictive content on open. So here you see another inbox. This happens to be Gary Johnson, a different uh, customer. This is Gary's inbox. And you can see that the recommendations for Gary are more related to jeans, not t-shirts. Evidently, Gary's a jeans fan. And that's cool, because the Diesel team still only had to create one template, and Journey Builder handled all that automation. So super easy to set up, super easy to administer. But the next question is, well, how does it perform? Well, let's take a look at that. Let's bounce back over into web and mobile analytics. With all this rich data that we have, one of the, the tiles that people are most excited about is email conversion tracking. Right here in the product, you can see how those emails that are being fired out from Journey Builder are performing. So let's drill into this one. 
And you can see that it works just like we've shown with the other tiles. I can see granular detail. As I click into a day, I'm going to see the breakdown by country. That's really great. I can see how it's performing on desktop versus mobile and how those conversions are actually driving. And it looks like we're creating lots of incremental revenue here for diesel, which is awesome. But this is a historical view. This is what has happened in the past. And we as marketers are also focused on what's happening in the future. So with a single click, I now have ability to see a predictive view of this data. I can see how my campaigns are going to look going forward. And I can adjust and optimize my marketing and my sends based on this information. And that allows marketers to understand not only what has happened, but what will be happening going forward. That is a really powerful capability. All right, Matt, thank you. You know, I want to uh, uh, finish up today by sh sharing a little bit of our, our vision and our roadmap. We have some exciting work ahead of us that we're currently very focused on. And the first is really this idea of extending predictive analytics throughout all of our analytic capabilities. We showed our first iteration of that in the demo, but we, w we really have a keen eye on adding predictive across everything that we do. This is really important for marketers. Having that historical view is important. It allows us to understand what our customers have been doing, and we can certainly gain insights that are extremely valuable. But allowing the system to tell us what to do with that information is equally important. And we're very focused on this. We've made a huge investment in data science within the marketing cloud, and we'll be delivering some amazing capabilities in the next couple quarters related to predictive. Along these lines, Customers are blown away by our predictive intelligence capabilities around next best offer. You saw that in the diesel demo, and we've talked about it lots today. The ability to put the right offer, the right piece of content, the right product in front of the customer, something that we're doing at unrivaled scale. But we're also hearing you loud and clear. You want to know more than just the next best offer. You want the next best action. Should I send that email? Should I have a mobile message? Should I actually pick up the phone and call the customer? These are the things that you are asking us for, and we're excited to deliver this. We're calling it next best action, and it's the ability for you, the marketer, to understand at an individual granular level what will influence this individual customer the most. Imagine having this data at your fingertips in your call centers, or having this available for segmentation. This is going to be a powerful piece of functionality, and we're really excited to deliver it. And finally, Service Cloud. Many of you are using the Service Cloud today to manage your customer support and call center. And the Service Cloud has amazing capabilities around managing cases and, and customer records. But we want to make sure that all of your agents have the same level of expertise about your content and your products that your website and your mobile app does. So we're extending predictive intelligence to be inside the Service Cloud. So when your agents are interacting with customers on the phone in real time and solving a support or service case, that they're able to take advantage of all the data science capabilities that we're bringing forward so they can suggest the next best product or the next best piece of content or the next offer for that individual. And tying all that back to our predictive intelligence engine allows us to have a seamless customer experience, regardless whether it's a marketing, service, or sales use case. This is really the future as we think about marketing. Marketing is inexplicably tied to sales and service. And so extending this into the service cloud is really important for us. All right. If anyone would like additional information about anything we've talked about today, please send a text message to 56237, and we will respond back. And uh, thank you all so much. I hope you have a wonderful night, and I uh, hope you enjoy day two at Connections. Thank you.